there are billions of galaxies in the universe and among these billion galaxies is our own galaxy the milky way and in this milky way there are numerous solar systems and our solar system is one of them but surprisingly in our solar system containing so many planets our planet is the only planet that contains life strange is it and we humans are just one of the life forms there are many others like the plants animals birds marine life and microscopic organisms and many factors come in when we talk about survival of life on earth right from the oxygen we breathe to things like sustainable temperature water food and energy from the sun and many other resources which are available on earth and are necessary to meet the basic requirements of all life forms let's find out about them in our chapter called natural resources now before we begin the question we must ask ourselves what are these resources well these resources are the land the water and the air simple isn't it let's study them one by one in detail to understand their importance let's start with land the outer crust of the earth which is called the lithosphere now this lithosphere includes the crust and the uppermost mantle which forms the hard and rigid outer layers of the earth basically it refers to the earth's hard outer surface or land water is next now water as you know covers 75% of the earth's surface it can also be found underground and this water or water bodies which are found both in and on the surface of the earth form the hydrosphere so this was a little about land and water but the most important resource we have is air you know that air is everywhere it covers the entire planet like a blanket and forms the atmosphere now keep in mind that living things are only found where the three elements that is the lithosphere the hydrosphere and atmosphere exist and this life supporting zone of the earth where all the three elements act together and make life possible for living and non-living things is known as the biosphere in simple words the combination of living and non-living beings and their interaction with the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere make the planet a live and vibrant place called the biosphere now the living components of the biosphere are known as biotic components and the non living components of the air the water and the soil are known as abiotic components and both of these types of components provides the resources which are necessary to meet the basic needs of life forms now natural resources which form the living non living components of nature are used by us to meet our requirements but they are of two types the inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible resources now the inexhaustible natural resources are the ones which are available in such abundance that they do not get exhausted even when they are used continuously you may know about these resources some of them are air water and solar energy which is the sun's energy there is exhaustible natural resources are the ones which are available only in a limited quantity and these are of two types the renewable resources and the non renewable resources now the renewable resources are the ones which get replenished rapidly what i mean by this is they are easier to regenerate like the forest which if gets destroyed can be regenerated by planting new trees animals can also reproduce and the ground water too gets replenished by rain on the other hand non renewable resources are which are exhaustible resources which once used cannot be replenished like minerals and fossil fuels so when you hear about fuels what is it that comes to your mind 
Is it the fuel which makes your car work, like petrol? Because these fuels like oils, coals, etc. are exhaustible. And if they get finished, they cannot be regenerated. That is why it is very necessary to use them cautiously. But it is the inexhaustible natural resources which are very important for sustaining life on Earth. So let's move ahead and discuss about them in detail. Tutami. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.